Blessings, Shalom fam. Hope you guys are doing well. For those who do not know, my name is Crystal. Welcome. I hope that you guys are doing well. I know, again, that it's been a while since I've been on here. But anyways, I was just felt led to watch a video this morning. It wasn't on a godly channel whatsoever. Uh, but I felt led to watch the video as sometimes, you know, God will show us or lead us to watch certain videos to get a message across or it's just something that he wants us to see. So didn't really notice anything through the video, but near the end of the video, there was, I guess this person posted a clip from the WEF, the World Economic Forum. And as I watched this part of the video, the Lord was showing to me and revealing to me um, what the agenda is, you know, of the beast, the mark. So I know the Lord has showed me in past that it's not just a mark, you know, like everybody says, a mark on your right hand, your forehead, it is the chip. So it is also your mindset, okay, through your mind, through your thoughts, through your being. And now if you go to the book of Revelation, I forget which chapter or verse, but it says the man of the mark is 666. I don't have the Bible in front of me. I'm just letting the Lord lead on this. You can go look it up. But the man of the beast is 666. So if you do 6 times 3 equals 18, or 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 18, 18 actually means bondage. Bondage through your mindset. It is not a physical thing. It is a spiritual thing. For it is written in the scriptures, it says, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against, I'm paraphrasing, but against dark rulers of principalities in dark places of this world it is not always physical but it is always it's a spiritual battle that we are facing every day now through this video that you are about to watch this is how the lord is showing me you guys are all waiting for a chip but letting you guys know in discernment that the beast is already here it is to those who are about to take it and those who are not help lead lord what you want me to say so, so AI could be a good thing and AI can be a bad thing. Now, if you are to, you know, we can use AI for godly purposes, but also can use it for evil purposes. Now, this AI technology, what they are about to do, and it is already here. I don't know if it's already on market for people to buy, but they said it is already here and you will know and understand when you watch the video. So this AI technology, again, will be able to control your mind, will be able to control your thoughts, your well-being, your mindset. It will play, be playing God. You will not be able to think for yourself, but it will be controlling you. If Satan has you through your mind, your will, and your emotion, he has you already. He has you, and you are no more, no more walking in light, but you are walking in darkness, darkness, and you have accepted the beast. You've already accepted the mark. Okay. Now we are, because we are in the end times, Jesus is coming back soon. We do not know the day nor the hour, but we need to be prepared and watch and be vigilant. But the devil is making different ways. He's coming in so subtle in these end days that people, if you guys do not have razor sharp pinpoint accuracy discernment, you guys will be deceived. If you not take everything back to God, you will be deceived. Now is the time that you must see God. Um, sorry for a second. We must see God with our whole heart, soul, and mind and seek him on all matters, on all accounts. I thank you, Father God. I thank you, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, for your presence. And my chest is burning on fire. Help lead, Lord. Help me to help your children, what you want me to say. It is coming. It is here. AI technology is very, very prevalent. Be careful what you watch, what you entertain. Because like just for instance, TikTok, you know, TikTok, TikTok, time is ticking, right? Need to have discernment. Be careful what you you start with this visual VR, what virtual reality, what this stuff uploading to the cloud, what they are going to have, uploading to um, the AI, controlling your mind and your thoughts. We are coming to that time. And you know what? They the the Vatican removed. And the second book of Esdras. If you go read it yourself, it even talks about AI. Um, 
transhumanism. This is their plan. But again, everything that I say, take it back to God in prayer. But this video is important. This is this video that the Lord was showing me. It is. It is here. The mark is here. People do this. They're going to, it's going to control their mindset, their thought. Okay. So you do not want the enemy to the for the devil to control you because once he has you he has you again we are in living in the last days so i'm just gonna let this video play um and yeah so if god leads me here again i will be back here again i only go this is not my channel this is his i go by his leading and whatever that he wants me to post i will post by all means it could be absolutely anything again i just go by his leading but um yeah, that's all I must say. Hope you guys are have a blessed day. Bye for now. Shalom. See the future and understand a wonderful future where we can use brainwaves to fight crime, be more productive, and find love. Let's roll. Sensing your joy, your playlist shifts to your favorite song. Sending chills up your spine as the music begins to play. You glance at the program running in the background on your computer screen and notice a now familiar sight that appears whenever you're overloaded with pleasure, your theta brainwave activity decreasing in the temporal regions of your brain. You mentally move the cursor to the left and scroll through your brain data over the past few hours. You can see your stress levels rising as the deadline to finish your memo approached, causing a peak in your beta brainwave activity right before an alert popped up, telling you to take a brain break. Your mind starts to wander to the new colleague on your team, whom you know you shouldn't be daydreaming about, given the policy against intra-office romance. But you can't help fantasizing just a little. But then you start to worry that your boss will notice your amorous feelings when she checks your brain activity and shift your attention back to the present. You breathe a sigh of relief when the email she sends you later that day congratulates you on your brain metrics from the past quarter, which have earned you another performance bonus. When you arrive at work the next day, a somber cloud has fallen over the office. Along with emails, text messages, and GPS location data, the government has subpoenaed employees' brainwave data from the past year. They have compelling evidence that one of your coworkers has committed massive wire fraud. Now, they're looking for his co-conspirators. You discover they are looking for synchronized brain activity between your coworker and the people he has been working with. While you know you're innocent of any crime, you've been secretly working with him on a new startup venture. Shaking, you remove your earbuds. What do you think? Is it a future you're ready for? You may be surprised to learn that it's a future that has already arrived. Everything in that video that you just saw is based on technology that is already here today. Artificial intelligence has enabled advances in decoding brain activity in ways that we never before thought possible. After all, what you think, what you feel, it's all just data. Data that in large patterns can be decoded using artificial intelligence. We're not video that you just saw is based on technology that is already here today. Artificial intelligence has enabled advances in decoding brain activity in ways that we never before thought possible. After all, what you think, what you feel, it's all just data. Data that in large patterns can be decoded using artificial intelligence. We're not talking about implanted devices of the future. I'm talking about wearable devices that are like Fitbits for your brain. The newest way to monitor attention is through a device like this one. These are ear pods that are launching later this year. These ear pods, much like the video you watched earlier, are ear pods that can pick up brainwave activity and tell whether or not a person is paying attention or their mind is wandering. Okay, well you might think, fine, but even if we can tell whether a person is paying attention or their mind is wandering, you can't tell what they're paying attention to you would be wrong. It turns out that you can not only tell whether, whether a person is paying attention or their mind is wandering, but you can discriminate between the kinds of things that they're paying attention to. Whether they're doing something like central tasks, like programming, 
peripheral tasks like writing documentation or unrelated tasks like surfing social media or online browsing. When you combine brainwave activity together with other forms of software and surveillance technology, the power becomes quite precise. So what do we do with this? What do we do with technology that enables us to monitor brainwave activity for attention? Do we embrace it? Do we resist it? I believe that there is a pathway forward with such technology. We might soon even use the technology to help people wake back up. This is a haptic scarf that MIT Media Lab has developed, which uses brainwave technology in a responsive way to give a person a little buzz, <laughs> literally, when their mind starts to wander to help them refocus and hone their attention. I'm giving you the positive use cases because what I don't want the reaction to be is let's ban them.